Hi, good morning. I wanted to share with you, I am making my own Pilates springboard and I got this idea off of Pinterest and um, I'm really looking forward to do, trying it out and doing exercises with it. Instead of using springs, I'm just using eyelets and resistance bands, but I'm in the first step right now. So what I did, I just got a two by four by eight actually at Lowe's and then I had them cut it in half for me and I waited an hour there for them to cut it because it wouldn't fit in my car full length. But anyway, so I just had them cut it for me and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sanding these two pieces of wood down just to make the edges a lot smoother and help prevent any splinters. Unfortunately, I don't have a good angle or setup to show you my sanding, but at least you know what the first step is. Now I've moved into the painting phase of this. So what you're seeing me do here is twist in the <laughs> eyelets and what these are, they're just screws with the round head that go pretty much all the way around. I really am not sure what they're actually called, but I used three on each side during this process four on each side total, so eight total, um, but three of them are seven eighths of an inch, which you'll see me next week attach the resistance bands to, and the bottom one is, is one inch so that my dowel could fit through it. But anyway, so I had to twist in a tip that my dad showed me, which was really awesome was using a screwdriver to help me twist these around. And then as far as measurements go, I kind of just eyeballed it. I did use a tape measure to try and get everything a little even. Uh, and I want to say I probably did about eight inches apart from each other, but I just kind of eyed where I wanted them and made the marks. And then wherever the marks were on the on the tape measure, I did the same thing for um, the other board. 